Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 1025. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you the Pearl Pan Pastels. Today I am showing you the Pearlescent Pan Pastels. They come in the orange, blue, red, green, and yellow. And just so you can see a bit better on camera, the difference, here is a matte regular Pan Pastel and there's the Pearl. So you should be able to see the shine and sparkle going on. I'm going to make a version of one of these cards that I made earlier. I used the pearls for the base of the card and then I used some of the other pan pastels on top of it for the texture and then the metallics for the dragonfly. So we're going to do it in three stages. So we're going to start with doing the base with the pearls. I'm going to use the yellow, green, and blue for my card. So I'm going to put the red and orange aside. I have my soft tool here that I like to use and I just, um, even though I'm using three colors, I'll just use the one tool. So you just pick it up. Some of the green gets there, but um, I'm okay with it. So if you're really concerned about, you know, colors, touching colors, then use a few different um, soft tools, but especially after a while, it just covers it up. So that yellow there is blended in with some of the green. It's not the pure yellow. And I like to cover more than what I want shown because I'm going to overlap the colors. So now I'm going to pick up some green and you can see the difference there between the yellow and the green. And I'm going to overlap and blend them together. And I can go back, pick up some yellow just to soften that blend. And then I'm going to do the blue up here. And working with pan pastels is really quick way to add a really nice background to um, any project. You can use it in art journals, on cards, scrapbook layouts. Put a bit more green. You can layer up the colors too. And so there we have our background. I'm going to move my pastels aside because I'm going to, I want to spray a layer of the fixative. I use the Spectra Fix Pastel Fixative. I'm going to just spray it. And this will just sort of seal in what I've done so far. So when I go to do my next um, layer of the pastels, they will sit on top. So I just have to give this a couple moments to uh, for the, the alcohol to evaporate and for this to dry. So my fixative is dry, so now it's time to add the next layer of texture. So I'm going to be using this stencil. It's called Screen Print from the Crafters Workshop. It's one of the newer releases for this year. And it's great because it has all this texture on it, and then later on this is the dragonfly we'll be using. So I'm just going to put it down. Now I'm using the same soft tool. If you want, you can rub it off on your um, paper towel to clean it off if that concerns you, but I just layer colors. So I have here, this one is bright yellow green. I have permanent green, turquoise, and blue that I'm going to be um, using over top. And so the good thing about the pearl um, pan pastels is that they're a nice soft color, but they work with all the other pastels that are already available to you on the market. Now I like to start with one color and then blend in, you know, a couple other colors into the mix. And then you're sort of blending colors, making some of your own colors too in there. And I'm just going straight 
through the stencil and you can see some great texture. I'm going to move these over a little so I can get this stencil down. Do I want to go down there or on the side? And I'm using the 12 by 12 stencil and this is a 5 by 7 card. Just to show that um, you don't necessarily need to use small stencils. You can use the large stencils on cards as well. And I've gone in with the turquoise and now I'm going in a bit with the darker blue. And then I'll use this part of the stencil here. I'm going to just rub off some of that darker blue because I'm going to go lighter again. And I like to take my stencil a little off my card so the, um, the color goes right to the edge. And I started with the yellow green and then added in some of the darker. So that is enough texture on our card and now I'm going to do another layer of spray just to sort of seal in those colors. So our last step now is to put on our butterfly. I'm going to be using copper and rich gold. These are metallics. You might be able to see again the sheen that's coming off them. They're really beautiful. And I'm going to use the same screen print stencil with the dragonfly and I'm lining it up so it goes off the edge a little and I prefer I preferred the large dragonfly on this versus on the six by six um, stencil of this the dragonfly is very small so I like to have this nice big dragonfly and so what I did is I turned my little um, soft sponge over and I'm going to use the other side now and I'm going to start with the base of the copper and just use that and get in there with the stencil. Now this one little part here, this has a small little part to the stencil so I just hold it with my finger. Just around this little bit here that moves. Now usually I keep my um, pastels in one of the large um, pans, trays, pastel trays, but I had just taken them out for to make it easier to show you the colors. Um, so I don't usually have the loose pastels moving around. They're in the tray and it's easy to get the um, pastel off. And you can go back over with another to darken it up a bit. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of the rich gold over top of it. Just adds another layer of color. Okay, and there we have our dragonfly. And you should be able to see the 
shine coming off the dragonfly. Nice and metallic. And then the background has the nice pearls that blend beautifully with the regular pan pastels. So check out the new pearl pan pastels. Well, that's it for today's video. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you three more of my new stencil designs. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.